As Christians around the country followed the way of the cross in commemoration of Jesus' journey to crucifixion, FDC supporters in Barra seized the opportunity to hold a procession which they say was meant to pray for Dr. Kiza Besige's release from house arrest. <laughs> Their journey started at a hotel in Barra and saw them get to town, but they were intercepted by the police along High Street. Police later arrested some of the FTC activists who ignored their plea to stop politicizing the religious walk. The rest of the supporters resorted to blocking some roads, causing a temporary traffic jam. Meanwhile, other believers in Barra from both the Catholic and Anglican faith took part in the ecumenical way of the course. Archbishop Paul Vachenga and Bishop Sheldon Mwesigwa led the Christians through the journey of faith. Last year we walked together from whatever point, whether we have decided to come from the Catholic point or whether we've decided to come from the uh, Anglican side, we walk together. It is a, a faith theme. Elsewhere in Bale, believers started the procession of the Way of the Cross at St. Andrew's Cathedral and headed to other areas around the town. The faithful were led by Reverend Milton Shisa, the assistant vicar of the cathedral. It's good because Jesus took it upon himself to die on our, on our behalf, that after we are set free, and that's the message of freedom, the message of joy, the message, the message of, uh, of peace, it's the message of reconciliation, where there is a hatred, people need to reconcile themselves and turn back to God. In Mukono district, Catholics and Anglicans followed the joint ecumenical way of the course in Jesus' footsteps to Calvary. The faithful were led by Bishop of Lugazi Diocese Christopher Kakosa and Bishop James William Sevagala of the Anglican Diocese in Mukono. The Christians made stopovers at hospitals and police stations. 